Alright guys, so this is kind of like a mixture of, you know, showing up my Pokemon setup and doing another room tour again because I know I did one last year but a little bit changed. So, you know, I got the dual monitors like always, you know, I'm, I'm extremely pimping out here. And then this. So this is mainly what I want to show you guys. Uh, I got this as a graduation gift. It looks great. Um, that was one of the few graduation gifts I got. And yeah, that looks beautiful. And then I got this NP sign that my mom made me for my birthday. That's, that's incredible. And then I have this stuff that's hanging right here, which wasn't here last year. Now over here, um, so first of all, this is my book where I write all my ideas. I can't show you guys the other ideas. I actually have to make the seven ideas for the other seven days. Um, I think this may be day six or seven. And here's my Skull Trooper mask from that one video that I made a long time ago. I actually bought it mainly for that video. Here's my N64 games and here's my 3DS. And here is the cows, my favorite stuffed animals. I love these. And then these are my mini bands. And then my, I forgot what these ones are called, but they're 70 pound bands. And I have a, a set of each of them. And then here's my triple ply knee sleeves. Now finally, here's for the Pokemon collection that you guys all waited for. Now, I love everything here. I actually made this ever since the first Pokemon opening video I put on this channel. And since then, I've gotten a lot. Basically, let me first start you off with this. So, you guys already know this. This was the first booster box I bought on my channel and opened up on my channel. And this is the first sealed product I ever owned. Um, it's crazy that I got this seal and it was only $12. The shit is at... It wasn't worth it guys it really wasn't worth it and here is two cosmic eclipse booster boxes this one's open i've opened up five packs from here already i had my cousin open her first packs ever we actually opened them last night and then this baby sealed and then this is just a stack of cards i have nowhere to put and then these are a ton of uh trainer cards and energies i haven't put in my book yet my my binder which we we will get to that we will get to that and then next up is this tag team Darkrai and Umbreon box. So the story behind this is I actually this is fifty dollars, which is a ripoff, by the way. You get eight booster packs, which comes out to thirty-two dollars, and then four promos. Yeah, that's really not worth fifty dollars. And I actually got this for twenty dollars, which if you put it in that way, that was that was very worth the price. Oh crap! Shit! What did I do? Oh, there we go. There's the exposure. Time for this. This is my Japanese CD. It's a music thing. It It's what comes with the Japanese CD promos, which you'll see later on. Yeah, that, that's just what that is. And that came with that too. And then here's an extra holographic Hitmonchan, which is actually in really great condition. And then here, I love these, but I kind of don't want them anymore. I spent so much money on these and they weren't very enjoyable. Um, I was actually going to make a video surrounding these. These are all the uh, Japanese Southern Island set, which is so, they're so cool. But first of all, the Japanese ones just aren't as good as the English ones. I spent a lot of money on these that I could have spent it somewhere else. It really wasn't worth it. I spent $110 on it and after tax and shipping, it came out to $120. In my opinion, um, Southern Island's Japanese just definitely isn't worth it. Um, I love the set but it just wasn't worth it. Now, next up, I have my 1999 Pikachu play mat. I love this thing. Yeah, I play on it whenever I actually play the TCG. And then here is a ton of top loaders with any modern cards that I've gotten so far. I, I actually just ordered a binder for these. Uh, this is just a random Arceus from Platinum Series. Yeah, these are all in the order from when I pulled them. So a lot of these are either pulled from or from boxes like this one. And also guys, something I'm doing with uh, these booster packs, I'm opening up two booster packs per week, right? So what I'm gonna do with the booster boxes is originally going to um, open up one of the booster boxes for the last day of 14 days of Nerd Period. And I just realized I didn't wanna do that. Cracking open a booster box and opening it all in one day or two days is just not the way to go. It's not how you enjoy a booster box. So what I'm doing is I'm no longer opening it up for 14 days of Nerd Period. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to just, I'm gonna open up two packs a week one on thursday and one on sunday and then i can choose to do whatever either it's save it up or open it then and slowly add to my collection from there because i have a modern the binder that's coming in is for a modern everything modern so like 
EXs, GXs, and Full Arts. And these babies right here, this is like, I think $700 worth of cards I have not opened up yet. I won't show, tell you what guys what it is because it, I haven't, I want to record a video on it. And by the way, guys, uh, you're going to see some cards that I've ha I have opened, but you haven't seen them on the channel before. And that's because a lot of them is, I wouldn't deem those openings worthy of the main channel, which I will upload them unedited to my second channel. So uh, my second channel will be linked in the top link of the description. Description. Now it's time for this baby my favorite thing on earth my most prized possession So getting this binder was so awesome Um, I wanted this binder instantly when I saw it and it's so beautiful. It's such a good deal got it for $25 and then let's open it up. So here is all fossil set here are my holographics I have every card from this set so here's more of them you actually saw me do an opening on this as the second day of 14 days in nerd period and um yeah i love this set so much just this set has some of my favorite cards that i love so much like these two um kingler and Krabby are favorites of mine and then that gold duck oh my god i love that card so much and then there's lapras cedra sand slash and then the three legendary birds and then tentacruel and omastar and then getting on to the next set it's base set so i'm I'm missing a lot out of base set right now. I'm um, currently I'm missing every holo besides Hitmonchan and every non holo rare, which I think the next thing that I'm gonna get is the non holo rares because that's the easiest to get your hands on. I've just been so focused on other sets that I completely forgot about base set because it's so hard to buy base set because once you have all the commons and uncommons, Everything is so ridiculously expensive that it's just you want to give up like I'm pretty sure one of the cheapest cards the cheapest holographics is probably Machamp and I can't find a good condition Machamp. That's a good price Um, a price that I'm willing to pay for so yeah Here's the rest of base set kind of awful and then here's starting a jungle set Um, I need every hollow besides holographic Vaporeon and then here's the rares. This is the second set I'm closest to completing. I'm not gonna say the other set because I'm actually, that a lot of that set is right there. And so yeah, here's jungle set, some great artwork. I love that Persian artwork so much. Jungle set just has some great pulls. Like this Marowak is a, is a uncommon. Also there, I have all my commons and uncommons in this set are all in first edition. And um, I also have the first edition error card Butterfree. And there's my Prime Ape. I love that band. And then here's the Venomoth and then the Eeveelutions. They're all in good condition cards right now. Some have scuffs on the back. Like not most, most of them don't, but um, some do. And then here is the rest. I love this card so much. Snorlax is, the jungle set Snorlax is iconic in my opinion. And so is the, uh, so is the, where, where is it? Scyther. And then now here's my, some of my favorite cards. My birthday uh, Pikachu. This is, I spent like, a lot of money on this card, um, like over $50. And it was, it was really worth it. I love that card. And then this is the first card I got in my collection, Southern Island Togepi, which the English Southern Island cards are so amazing, but oh, it just sucks. And then I got the Mew promo, it's the non holo version, and then these cards. These cards cost big money. Um, I will actually upload the opening of these on my second channel uh, because these were a part of it, but these are the CD promos that came with this Pikachu. And yeah, they're pretty great. And here's the other promos. These are also the two CD promos that also came come with it this is just another Japanese promo but I really realized that I really don't care about promos and I don't want them in my collection so yeah I'm not ever gonna collect Japanese cards ever again besides these three Japanese cards I love these cards anyways guys if you did enjoy this video of my you know Pokemon card tour Pokemon collection slash room tour make sure to leave a like and you know comment some stuff that you have in your collection because I think I have some cool things but not the coolest but yeah yeah, day six of 14 days of nerd period. I'm starting to have that mental breakdown. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.